Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christian and today I will be talking about the WGU capstone and how to pass it successfully. So the capstone is typically taken as the final course in some of WGU's IT degrees, including software engineering, uh, which was previously software development. I will be addressing requirements specifically for the software engineer slash development major, um, which could vary slightly for, for computer science or other uh, degrees in the IT um, the IT college at WGU. Additionally, you can use this class to your advantage to help boost your portfolio, so stay tuned to learn more about that. So first off, what should you do for your capstone? That's the number one question, right? I would say to use one of the projects from either Advanced Java or the mobile application development. Either of these courses require you to build a fairly robust application that has plenty of room for improvement. This is why this is what my program mentor originally advised me to do, but since I was stubborn, I made my own web, web app using the Django framework. Um, I have mixed feelings about my decision to do this, which I will address momentarily. So the reason that I suggest to improve an existing project is because you already have a solid foundation to work upon, which reduces the amount of time required to do the more tedious things such as defining the requirements, setting up your environment, creating the user interface, etc. Um, so this will save you time and ultimately allow you to push yourself further as a result. I learned during my job search that when it comes to projects, employers care more about how advanced your application is than which tech stack you're using or how many projects you have. While these are important too, I think that making applications that stand out is the most valuable use of your time. Now to go back to why I have mixed feelings about my decision to make a Django web app for my capstone project, I think that it was good to learn a new modern web framework. I was able to do something that was relevant to me since I used to work as a manager in the restaurant industry. Um, I was also able to eventually add some REST API integration to my project among some other cool features that you wouldn't see in your typical uh, CRUD tutorial application. Um, but I think I spent too much time starting from scratch and I could have made one of my existing projects even better than what I did. And, and um, just to let you guys know, what I did for my project was I made a uh, restaurant inventory tracking application. Um, so if you have decided to improve one of your existing projects for your capstone, you're probably thinking, well, which features should I add? Well, that is not for me to tell you, and you're gonna to have to decide that for yourself. Um, this is where you're going to have to get creative. I would suggest that you don't bite off more than you can chew. Um, it's easy to imagine something in your head and then start trying to implement it, and then it goes sideways, and then you've just potentially wasted a bunch of time that you could have spent productively. Uh, with that being said, messing up can be a good thing uh, because you learn from it, but there is a balance, and you don't wanna do something that is overly complicated. This is why I say that you would have to make the decision of what you want to improve yourself um, because you're going to have to gauge your skill set and your capability, honestly. Uh, if I could give some general guidance on what to do, though, I would say to make it a combination of your existing skill set and what you're interested in doing when you apply for a job. Uh, for example, if you're interested in full stack web development, then integrate a REST API. Um, if you're interested in mobile development, then find some way to drastically increase the speed of the existing uh, mobile app um, from, from the uh, mobile application class and um, add some neat features. Uh, once again, just make sure to get creative with it and challenge yourself. Um, and that's not even necessarily for you to be able to pass, which I don't think is going to be a challenge for the majority of you. It's more so that um, this is something that's going to go on your portfolio. So you want to challenge yourself. You want it to be impressive and creative. Um, so when it comes to the technical paper that you have to write along with your project, I wouldn't worry about that too much. It's more tedious and challenging in my experience. Just make sure to be thorough and you'll do fine. Um, if you have any specific questions though, drop them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get to them in a timely manner. All right, so that sums up the video. I hope that you found this helpful. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more related content. And once again, don't be afraid to ask questions in the comment section and or leave suggestions. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.